Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can test our integration payload as a developer mode. For testing the integration payload or integration value in developer mode, first we need to open the integration. So suppose this is our integration. So for in opening the integration, I need to deactivate once. Once integration deactivated, I will I will show you the details from where we can open the integration values as uh, the, the developer modes. So here you can see this is the integration. In the integration, we have the endpoint. This endpoint. In this endpoint, we are passing value as a request payload, and the same value here we are returning in the response payload by adding the some some validation or the some operations. So how we can test that the value op by opening the in developer mode? For that, this is our mapper. So you have to edit the mapper. So once you will move and edit the mapper, in the mapper we will have option for test. So here you can see once you will click here in the developer mode, that will be open in the developer mode to show. For that, for testing the same, we have this icon, run icon. So once you will open this run icon or click on the test icon, it will show you some dummy values at runtime so that you can test. So here before going to come here in mapping, if you see what we have done is that here you can see. In the right side, left side, we have two value as a request payload, the pval1, pval2 coming in the request wrapper. And these two value we have added as a response payload by adding the sum values, adding the sum operation. You can see pval1 plus pval2. And we are adding the here value in that one. How we can test at runtime? For testing the same, you have to click here in the run or test icon. Once you will click here, you can see this is the endpoint, a start rest request endpoint. How you can see? You can see a start rest request endpoint. This from this endpoint only we are getting this two value, and we are mapping this value in this mapper, whatever mapper we have opened, right? In the mapper. So now here, once you will click here, you can see you have the endpoint a start rest, and here right now we don't have any values, right? For generating the default value or dummy value here, you have to click here. You can see if in this icon you can see generate input icon. Once you will click here in the generate input icon, the dummy value will be generated for this endpoint. The same value we can get, uh, we can check at the running in the log message of the integration. So here instead of pval1 or pval2, here we will provide the value. So suppose we will provide value as 10 and pval2 value as 20. So here we have the dummy value as pval1 10 and pval20. And we know that in the mapper, what we have done, we have added these two value and returning back as a response. So once you will click here for testing or executing, you can see we will get the response as a result. You can see we got response as result and the result as 30. Why this 30? Because in the mapper, we added the addition of these two number and provide in the result, result response payload. So if we will change this 100, 10 to 150, and the values 2 for 340, suppose 305. Again, if we will test, this two value will be replaced by adding 455. So this is the way how we can test our integration value at the, in the developer mode or we can say in the debugging mode. So before even going running the integration. So this two value we are getting as a request payload and we have done the mapping here, here in the mapping and the same we are checking here in the, in the, in the uh, test developer mode. So this is the way if you will see here the whatever operation we are going to perform behind that it's executing the code. You can see this is the XML code. So here whatever value we have added we have added the logic for the operation. You can see in this result here you can see this is the result response wrapper response wrapper and in the response wrapper you can see the value value of value of this result is you can see the select whatever select here this is the first value plus the second value, the p value 2, and whatever result will be there, it will be come for this result only. So, this is the basic way you can debug the or run the integration in developer mode for testing some values. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. It will, whenever you subscribe the video or the channel, like the videos, provide any comment, it, it gives us motivation to do that kind of videos again and again. Thank you so much for watching.